Okay, folks, what we're going to do now is we're going to show you how to uh, erect the uh, stair and leg kit on the stands and, and how to stand one of the stands up. Uh, the first thing you do is take a, you're going to need two four by fours. Take the first four by four and put it up here toward the front of the trailer. Pull the stand as far to the back of the trailer as you can get it. Okay? Now we're going to take that stand and we're going to tilt it over. There's two guys can do this. All right, we're going to pick the stand up. We're going to rotate it, rotate it to a position where it's it's balanced. Then we're going to lay the stand down on that four before and slide it back just a little bit. There you go. All right. One person's gonna tilt it up. Slide the other four before under there. Always put that four before in the front, up close to, just under the window. Don't put it under the window. Take your other four before and put it right there at the bottom of the stand, right close to the bottom edge of the stand. And then what you wanna do is both guys get on each side of the blind and then grab your four befores and slide the blind back toward the back of the trailer. All right, that's good, right there. All right, first thing you wanna do is remove all your, your leg sockets. One thing you wanna remember when you're removing these leg sockets is if one of these screws ever comes out, all the way out, don't ever start it, show me that impact. Don't ever start it back with an impact. Always hand start your bolts. Make sure they get started in there straight. Then you can put your impact or screw gun on it to tighten them up. If you don't, you're gonna cross thread it just about every time. Okay, the first step we're gonna do after we've removed our leg sockets is we're gonna take one of the legs and we're gonna, we're gonna flare this, this out just a little bit. This is a, a pipe that goes in the end of it to keep that from collapsing when you put your set screws in it. And it fits real snug. We don't have to put any screws or anything in it. So what you do is you'll take and tap the, just tap the edges on all four sides. And then tap your insert down into it. And then what you're gonna do is take and reverse the leg and then you're gonna put the foot in it. This is the part that's gonna sit on the ground. It goes in the same way. There you go. Now the leg's ready to install. While one guy's holding up the leg, and you always wanna make sure that leg is always pushed up in this corner, and you're gonna tighten the bolt. Just barely snug all the bolts in there first. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna straighten that leg up and get it all the way over in the corner. And then you can tighten all the bolts up, all the way. And then finish installing the rest of your legs. Okay, the next step we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna attach the braces, the cross braces using a self-drilling screw. Uh, we use screws instead of bolts. Cause when you get out here on unlevel ground, none of the bolts ever match up. So we use self-drilling screws. And if you'll notice, when you're screwing the cross braces on, just split the difference. Same distance down here is at the bottom of the leg on the opposite side. And it's easier. It doesn't matter if the braces are on the inside or the outside, but just put the braces. And always, when you watch when he's fixing to put this brace in, always go over that brace and go under. And the reason for that, it puts a slight bow in there, and that way they won't rattle in the wind.
in uh, hooking up the chain, we're gonna raise the stand up now. So one thing that we wanna do is we wanna hook that chain and make sure your chain is securely hooked, just like we've got it right there. Go around the leg and under that brace, that way the chain won't slip. So just make sure it's hooked. You can use a rope, you can use a chain, you can use a strap. Just make sure it's something that won't come unhooked while you're pulling the stand up. And then you wanna put your stand up, your uh, chain up over the X brace. All right, guys, let's do, hook it up. Once you get the stand assembled, just like we've got it right here, uh, the stand will, it's, it's balanced now to where it'll rotate down. Push down on the legs and it's gonna rotate down to where the legs are touching the ground. Now you can put the chain up and over the braces, just like so. Okay, now we're gonna stand the stand up. We're ready to, to erect the stand. You'll notice one guy's on the trailer and all he's gonna do is just pick up and lift up on it a little bit to get it started. Okay, let's start up with it. Once the stand starts up, the guy on the trailer, always make sure you don't get in a compromised position to where you're on the, the trailer underneath the stand. The other guy's gonna come around and just assist it in letting it down. And that's how easy it is to erect and stand up one of the stands. Now we're gonna place our handrails on the uh, porch assembly, the side rails on the ladder, making the turns coming outward, using the self-drilling screws provided. Screw the handrails onto the stobs. Make sure you use two screws in each handrail. Okay, rotate the stairs over onto the top handrails and place it approximately about 10 feet out in front of the stand. That way when you rotate it up, it'll be close to where it's supposed to go. Then we're gonna take the hanger pipe and lay it in the angle iron at the back of the stand, just as shown as in the picture, and measure, make sure you've got the same distance from each end. Take your U-bolts and clamp the pipe into the V in the angle iron, just as they're showing in the video here. Then you're gonna take the stairs and rotate them over and lean the pipe up against the legs and then level the platform accordingly, leaning the stairs up against the stand. Get it good and level and square. Now using the U-bolts and the backing plate, we're gonna place the backing plate behind the leg, U-bolts on both sides of the leg around the pipe as shown in the video. This will secure the stairs to the stand. Okay, folks, this is how you assemble the stair and leg assembly to the antler shed deer blinds.